Let's talk about the VU meters that appear in different Tascam Porter Studios and tape machines. Got a bit of a selection here. This is from a 244. Here you can see the corner of a Spares Porter 1 I've got. This board here came out of a 234 and this board here came out of a 246. I'm not sure how apparent that is. Looks different because the plastic case isn't on it. But basically these uh, master meters from the 246 are the same as the ones that are in the 234, which are the same as the ones that are in the Porter 1, which I believe are the same that are the channel meters on like 38, the real to real machine. So it's a standardized TAC part that appeared in a variety of TAC and Tascam tape machines. We've got three styles of bulb here. The 244 here and the 246 here are very similar. Um, in fact, you can actually swap round the bulbs and it will still work. You can see maybe that the, this the 244 type is slightly thicker. This is a narrower one for the 246. But if you had spares units of both and you needed to salvage one for the other, then they will go in there. This type, however, you can see that they're actually soldered in at both ends. So they require a little bit more work uh, to change over. Now, extra thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to test these with a battery. Because sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation where you're not entirely sure whether the bulbs are out or whether there's a problem with the circuit board that's switching them. I'm in that situation at the moment with the 234. I couldn't tell whether there was some sort of problem with the 10 volts getting into the board or whether it was just all the bulbs were out. So what you can do is, because the inputs are expecting 10 volts DC, 9 volts DC is close enough. So if you've got these little alligator clips, you can hook them up and just touch them. Because it's not a diode or anything, it's DC, it doesn't actually matter which way around you touch them. Look at this 234 type. I'm very sure that these outside pair are for the bulb whereas these are for the meter signal itself. So if I get those to touch those contact points, you can see the bulb is lighting up. So you don't actually need to take this plastic case off and access these points in order to test it. Another thing I'm in the habit of doing is just writing on the front with Sharpie pen of this clear perspex. I'm not exactly sure what plastic is, but on the plastic cover, show which ones are in or out. So on this board, three of them are not working, but one of them is. And if you've got any anxiety about, well, how are you going to get the pen off? If you've got isopropyl wipes, which you'll see me using all the time and for cleaning and so on, the Sharpie will wipe off there completely. So, hope that's useful tip for somebody. Bye.